Securing Charlie. Losing A. Controlling Bravo. You lost Alpha. Taking C. Bravo is on. Yo, chat, I'm about to give up tonight, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Ninja works. Dude. The devil attacking, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here, buddy. Look at him, look at him. Oh. <laughs> man, oh man. We are back for another year, Call of Duty. Got the Black Ops 6 beta just ended today. Um, I decided I'll make a little review video on it. As usual, like every year. Not even trying to be negative here, man, but... I don't even be excited for Call of Duty releases anymore. Like, the early releases, like, I really don't be excited. I didn't even watch the COD next gameplay. Didn't watch the Warzone next gameplay, whatever. All of that fancy trailers and gameplay and whatever. I don't even be excited anymore, to be honest. And it's low-key not even just me. Like, I feel like I'm the last man standing out of my friend group. All of my friends pretty much aren't getting the game. <laughs> they don't really care for it either. Um, they pretty much threw in the towel, man. So, I still do YouTube. So, I end up buying these games yearly. At this point, we pretty much know what we're getting every year. Skill-based infested video game. Um, you really can't really chill for real. As usual. We've been talking about this for years. Every year, Call of Duty drops. Um, Skill-based matchmaker always goes like viral on, on the hashtags on Twitter or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Now, for the millionth time in a row, people be asking me, yo, are you excited for Black Ops 6? What is your thoughts on the next COD? So-and-so. And it's just pretty much the skill base, man. We already know what's going to be in the game. No point crying about it, really. I, every time I try to play the game, I try not to complain, but it, it's increasingly frustrating. It does not matter what new features are put into the game. Matter of fact, a lot. The Omni movement, it is fun at first, man. It's fun to do something a little different. Uh, it's kind of like a Max Payne um, stranglehold type of movement, but in a first-person shooter. It's fun at first, man, until you just are put in sweat pit lobbies, and it's just nonstop in your face. People sliding, diving, jumping off a roof, sliding backward, doing all type of crazy shit, and it just gets old really fast man like within like an hour of playing the beta it's just like holy shit like <laughs> i'm ready to get off this shit you know what i mean like i kid you not my first game on i swear my first game on obviously they track your stats from like the previous games and shit first game on man i got completely murdered like it was bad i want negative um a lifetime like 3kd player bro and it's actually insane like you're struggling to go positive even the pros are struggling we know how this goes man as I said, it's hard to enjoy a game. It's hard to enjoy new features when you can barely play it for an hour. Considering, like, you just want to get off because it's so fucking sweaty. But my opinion, obviously, is going to differ from, like, a casual player, right? Because um, it's a whole different experience. Like, the lobbies I'll be in is just insane. Um, that's where people, is, like, people are, like, hacking and shit like that. You find run into people hacking. You run into just six mans or just... Everybody in the lobby's cracked, bro, literally. Like, this gameplay I'm showing you right here is kind of a rarer game. It's easily my best game. I got I dropped, like, 100 plus in this. But I guarantee you, the next game, I go on and I get murdered. <laughs> like, I swear, y'all, the fun police detects any type of anomaly. Like, the person's having too much fun. They're doing too good. Next game, we drop you into the game you're supposed to be in and you get murdered. Now, in addition to the lobbies comes the packet burst. We all know the connections are pretty horrible in these um, type of skill-based matchmaking things. Connection is awful because they're forcing you unnaturally to play against people that you shouldn't be really playing against in the casual playlist. You know what I'm saying? Um, instead of people being in your area, like usually back in the old Call of Duties, I would typically play people in the tri-state area, right? I'm in New York. I'd usually play people from New York, Jersey, Connecticut, around that area. You know what I mean? I, you typically wouldn't play people from like stay in the west coast like that's kind of crazy you know what i mean but that's just how it is nowadays so you're gonna get a good amount of packet bursting man it's gonna seem like you're trying to shoot people and they're just not dying no matter how much bullets you put into them but you get deleted in three shots maybe two it feels like it feels like you, it feels like you instantly die and that is low-key what this game feels like at times um just like a death simulator 
quick and respawn. I see why people play Search and Destroy, right? Obviously, if a game is sweaty as hell, um, at least you're not dying every two seconds. You know what I mean? Now, when you play respawn, some games are literally like you run out the spawn, die. Run out the spawn, die. You try to go another way to lead a spawn, die. Like, it's actually insanity. Now, there are some good aspects about the game. I'm not going to be completely negative, right? That Obviously, the, the skill base just took up the whole portion of what I just said, but... <laughs> There are some good aspects of the game, right? The game itself is a great game, like at this base, at its base, it's a at its core or whatever. It's a great game. That's what I say about all Call of Duties. Like they're mostly good for the most part, and then the matchmaking just ruins it, and then just makes it unplayable. Now the gunplay, amazing, right? The movement, it's amazing. The guns feel lit. Um, I love the balance between the ARs. The subs are the subs are really good. The ARs are really good. I haven't used all of the other stuff like the LMGs or the snipers or whatever. But so far from what I use, everything is good. Like, Treyarch really outdid themselves on the movement. It's so buttery, man. It feels so good. Um, it's a little clunky at first, obviously, coming from, like, a different engine. But it feels good, man, for the most part. The maps. Uh, I heard they, they AI made these maps, you know what I mean? This map right here, Babylon. I kind of like it. It's, it's pretty straight. Um, I typically like larger maps, um, but typically I also play like larger game modes, like a 10v10, 12v12, whatever. I like maps where you actually use your brain and it's just not a brain dead spawn death simulator back to back. You know what I mean? So this one is straight, though, if you if you get used to it. Um, Scud is terrible. <laughs> Super terrible. Rewind is terrible. Um, Skyline is straight. Skyline and this Babylon. Matter of fact, I think Derelict is alright too. That one, that one is alright. The streaks are pretty straight too. This is my first chopper gun I ever got, and it's pretty fun, man. I'm not gonna lie. Treyarch know how to make some good streaks. Like remember, like Black Ops One chopper gunner. It kind of feels like this. Um, you just have to lead your shot a little bit more. Like it's not as like hit skin, which kind of makes sense, right? Because you're at a far distance and trying to shoot people. So, but it's fun, man. The Hellstorm is fun. Um, I don't like that they had like, what is that? Uh, the air patrol kind of thing. I think it's called interceptor or whatever. Which pretty much lets you like destroy all the streaks in the air. But at least it's not um like Cold War where you can earn streaks even after you die. So basically you only you only have one shot to get them. So it's not I don't think it's gonna be too much of a complaint this year. But yeah, the streaks are pretty good. I also like the way they set up the attachments. Like usually um in the past games they would try to get you to stop using certain certain attachments and the way they set it up this year is a lot of positives and like a little bit of negative so you pretty much deck out your gun and it's fun man you don't have to create a super slow build if you don't want to or like thing it's just arcadey it's fun it's what call of duty is supposed to be and yeah even the perks are good the perks actually they have ninja you know that was a huge thing in the in the past couple games like they would refuse to add ninja or whatever they have ninja in the game ghost is supposed to be how ghost is where you could stay off the radar as long as you're moving if you're not moving you're camping you're gonna be exposed as it should be it's balance uh what else is there um they have a new mode hvt certain game modes man i don't know why they just even come up with it hvt is just dog shit <laughs> it's pretty much where some guy is basically playing warzone at a specific time uh the the dude who has the hvt has three plates and literally he gets points for just surviving so you can literally hide um you have maximum plates so anybody tries to rush you you know exactly where they're coming from and you could sh you could kill them basically and you could just cheese your way to some streaks um it's pretty corny how people play it they just get the hgt and hide um i don't know why they just even made that mode i understand being different but i think is just i think it's just crap bro i know treyarch said all the maps are gonna be pretty much small to medium size kind of a uh, low-key like that that's it, me personally i feel like it's kind of l because i just don't like super small maps but a lot of people tend to like those things like um a shipment nuketown kind of size map i like maps with more space so i can actually think you know what i mean but for the most part uh it is what it is oh also the spawns are pretty dog piss i don't know if they're gonna fix that but uh spawns are pretty bad sometimes but we already know that um as i said i don't know if they're gonna fix it is what it is it's pretty much all there is to say about it let me know if i'm missing anything in particular but yeah overall as i said it's a base it's a good game at its base it's unfortunate that the company decides to ruin it with the matchmaking system uh <laughs> and then when they say like it's skill base is beneficial to the game i i'd I be saying i don't understand because like black ops 3 didn't have it right black ops 3 it was literally like 
randomness boom one but most games if you're a good player you're gonna dominate or whatever or do really good um and it's it just wasn't like how it is now and that game was really big so i don't really understand what's going on but hey man i'm just a man that plays the game i'm not a business or whatever you know what i'm saying i just play for fun well i mean i don't think you could do that anymore man there's no there's no playing for fun there's no casual gaming nowadays man it's over and i know some people will say oh man look at you sweating right here man but you can literally see me in the camera bro like i'm just sitting back in my chair bro i'm not leaning for i'm not doing nothing bro i just happen to play a certain way i just i'm just good man i can't force myself to play bad i'm not necessarily sweating bro i just i'm just a good dude i'm just a good player bro like can't hold that against me but hey that's pretty much all it is to it long story short man great base game great game at its core matchmaking ruins it um is it worth your money me personally <laughs> <laughs> if i was to do youtube i probably wouldn't buy this game man to be honest it's just um i don't really like playing games to just be stressed out unless it's competitive like i'm playing for a competitive rank and all of that stuff that's when it makes sense all right i'm i'm really trying hard i'm, I'm stressing out somewhat uh but just a casual casual game i'm playing i'm just trying to have fun um nah you know what i'm saying like I'm, i don't really see myself playing for hours on end or whatever maybe 30 minutes an hour i'm good you know what i mean like that's pretty much how warzone is now for me it's kind of sad man but only way to play cod and have fun consistently nowadays is really you know what i mean you see people reverse boosting vpn doing all type of stuff to get around the matchmaking man yeah as i said the game is fun it's just the matchmaking kills it and that just ruins the whole experience man not gonna lie to y'all and tell you and tell y'all waste y'all 70 beans man so you reach their own everybody got their own opinion this is mine you feel me as i said if i was doing youtube content or whatever i wouldn't be buying this game i probably wouldn't even be playing most games at all to be honest like most games are pretty much just cash grabs nowadays game is bigger than ever and somehow the quality of the games is just sky worse that's what it is man anyways y'all let me know y'all comments i say comments let me know let me, blah, 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 blah. let me know y'all opinions down in the comments section you know what i'm saying let me know what y'all think about this game are you hype is it a W? Is it a L? Yeah, man. Anyways, that being said, y'all smash the like button. Hit the sub button. Y'all already know. Steph Glizzy. We out of here. Yeah, you're going crazy. They're all coming behind. Come behind. Get, get off, get off, get off point. Everyone's hard. Oh, my. Hardpoint is secure. Oh, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Let them get on it, let them get on it. Yo, that's actually crazy. Like 200 between two people. Go Joe Roll, stop. Do not cap, do not cap. Sound's running out, sound's running out. Hardpoint is active. Oh, oh, man. 133! TV. 133.